Welcome back to a brand new video. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Before we get into the video, if we could get two likes on this video, I appreciate that. If we could get me to 20 subscribers by Halloween, also appreciate that. So let's get into the video. This is my ranking of the live action Jokers. Now, my number five is Caesar Romero. Caesar Romero played the Joker in the Batman 60s television series. Now, fun, you know, Caesar Romero did not want to shave his a mustache. He did not want to shave his mustache during the role. And it, you know, as you watch that TV show, you will see that um, Caesar. You know, you will see his mustache coming through the makeup, and it's kind of bothering. But you know, Caesar Romero's Joker. You know, he's not a bad Joker. You know, he's a good Joker, and. You know, you look at Cesar Romero, like, he could play a little darker Joker if he wanted to, if he had that script. My number four, I know he never played the Joker on Gotham, but he should have played the Joker in Gotham, and he should play the Joker. And my number four is Cameron, yeah, Cameron Monaghan. If you want to know what I'm looking at, it's my list to make sure I say his name right, but Cameron Monaghan is my number four. You know, um... You know, you know, if he was watching Gotham, you know that we all thought that he was going to be the Joker. And he should have, you know. He's a good actor, and he had a good life. So that's part of the Joker. My number three, and this is my... Now we're starting to get to my top three. This is my opinion only. My number three is Jack Nicholson. I think Jack Nicholson, if you look at his portrayal, is maybe more accurate to the comics. And that's not bad, you know. It's... But I think, like, it's with the Batmans, you know, we don't have a definitive Batman actor, and we never will, and that's fine, because that way you can pick, and, you know, in your opinion, which one is your definitive one. My number two, and in my opinion, is Jared Leto. Jared Leto is my second favorite Joker, um, sometimes my favorite, but today he's my second, um, favorite, and let me tell you why he's my second favorite, you know, Jared Leto didn't, you know, he wasn't able to give his all in Suicide Squad, and I don't really know if he's going to be able to play the Joker again, you know, you know, if you have a script, and it's not a really good script, and you're only on screen for 10 minutes, or 15 minutes, how much range can you really give, you know, I can go on, like, you know, I can really go on a rant of how WB treated the Joker in Suicide Squad, and the way they treated Jared, it's not right, and of course, my number one is Heath Ledger, this is really no surprise. It's basically anyone's favorite Joker. You know, Heath Ledger really brought something different to the table. Um, he really brought something different and engaging and real and think realistic Joker. And then too, you know, back to Jared Leto's Joker for a second. You know, some people hate on that, but too, you know, Jared Leto's Joker is comic accurate somewhat and and are realistic so if you have realistic comic actor that's pretty cool but you know Heath Ledger back to Heath his performance is a wild performance you know it's everything you want out of a Joker you know it's everything you want out of a Joker and if you watch The Dark Knight you know you watching it for the Joker let's just face it because that's how much good performance he puts into it so that's my ranking of the Joker um, actors if you could give me a like and please share if you are new, please subscribe. Welcome to the channel. If you could, hit that little bell. So I'll be set that it's right beside the um, subscribe button to know when I upload a brand new video or go live. Peace, and we'll catch you in the next video.